Okay guys, so basically here we've got some stainless steel pins that I'm leaving exposed from the block wall. And I've got an idea to create a floating staircase going up to the second floor of the building. I just thought it would be really cool to do a little floating staircase here on the outside and, and that it would be a kind of a minimalist approach. Definitely gonna take some serious engineering, but I think that it'll be great and uh, and it'll, you know, it won't take up too much space. It'll take less materials and, and obviously a floating staircase that looks like it's growing out of the building is gonna be really cool. The columns we're using are two by, or 12 by 18. So they're pretty massive columns that we're using and they're very spaced a lot through the building. Right now we're uh, putting the boxes over so we can pour concrete on the inside. One additional thing that I did that I like to do is tie in all of the support for the entire building with welds. So we went through and welded all of the lateral support as well as all of the vertical support. So everything's welded as well as the standard ties. So a lot of stuff is tied, of course, but there's a lot of stuff that's welded. And the welding actually will help with strength, gain more strength out of less material as well, if you do it in, in, in the right way. So here we've got the boxes built with the ready to pour the concrete columns here. It's an example. And then still, whereas also we're actually putting in block right now. So I'll take you through and show you the block laying process, how we do it. And everything here, of course, we're trying to get the most out of the materials. You might say, wow, those, those boxes that you're using to pour the concrete, to make the concrete molds look pretty rough. Well, we actually cut them with chainsaws uh, out of dying, you know, dead wood and fallen trees that we found around here in the jungle. So pretty cool, fun fact. And you can see how it ends, how it ends looking right here. This is, this is actually chainsaw cut wood here and this particular piece of wood was a pine tree that fell in a storm but it was here right it was basically a pine tree that was here and fell in a storm and right here on site so it was pretty cool we were able to just cut the cut the wood with a chainsaw that we needed for the project right out of the right out of the property you can see these metal stainless steel pins they're stainless steel uh, headless bolts that's what they are but we're going to use these to tie down all of the heavy equipment and machinery and tables for all building everything. So I can kind of keep an open facility here and not have to worry as much about security. It'll give me a little bit of time if somebody wants to try and come rob something to where they actually have to cut it and all that. We're gonna have storage built-in storage lockers, metal, big metal and concrete structures that are very, very strong and safe. So we've, we've put in uh, as well stainless steel pins. The reason we use stainless steel and this is gonna be the stainless steel pins for the shelving. The reason we use stainless steel is because it does, it's non-corrosive and it does not in any way negatively affect the concrete. So you have what you call concrete cancer. If you have an exposed element and it starts rusting here, the concrete will start chipping and breaking away. So we're trying to prevent that and create a really just a long-term permanent facility structure that's gonna be you know solid for a hundred years. So really just kind of a, building a, a really cool facility here. Taking a little tour, this is gonna be an office here. This is gonna be our new photo and studio here and filming everything like that over here. I'm gonna have my Kydex and plastic sheath making area over here. And then the forge is gonna be over there in the far corner. And then all of my grinders and my metal working tools and everything like that's gonna be over here. This corner over here is gonna be a paint booth. So up to the size of a car, I'm going to be able to paint a vehicle in there, but obviously what I'm going to be mostly painting is going to be powder coating knives and stuff like that, tomahawks and tools. But we're also going to have woodworking area mixed in here with the metal, but uh, it'll kind of be probably part of this. One of these little squares here will be metal and then one of them will be wood and then the far end will be forging and actually the forge will be down there with all the forging and metalworking tools that are for uh, hand forming and heat forming metal. So appreciate you guys watching. Hope you liked the video. Comment below and let me know how you think the project's coming along. This is about two months in. We're working uh, pretty hardcore, not using any much tools or heavy equipment, just kind of going, doing it the old fashioned way and uh, really having a lot of fun with being able to engineer and, and create the concepts and, and kind of MacGyver stuff along the way. So questions and comments, get involved, let me know what you think, and let me know if you have an advi any advice, if I'm doing something wrong, it's fine. Please let me know, I wanna take constructive criticism as well.
Thanks for watching. Bone out.